Do you know what to say and especially what not to say when someone you care about is struggling with social anxiety? Hey, my anxiety warriors, I'm Carol, a PhD student in physiology, and in the next four minutes, I'll share with you some things we should avoid saying to someone with social anxiety, why these phrases can be harmful, and what can we say instead to truly offer support. So, let's get started. Firstly, social anxiety is more than just shyness or occasional nervousness. It's a deeply rooted fear that can make even the simplest social interactions feel overwhelming. It's an intense fear of being judged, embarrassed, or humiliated in social situations. This fear isn't just in their heads, it triggers real physical symptoms like sweating, trembling, or a racing heart, which can make their anxiety even worse. When someone with social anxiety hears certain phrases, it can make them feel even more isolated or misunderstood. So let's go over some common phrases that can be harmful even when we mean well. One thing you should never say is just relax, because for someone with social anxiety, relaxing on command is nearly impossible. Their body is on fight or fly mode and simply tell them to calm down can feel dismissive and frustrating. Another phrase to avoid is, everyone gets nervous sometimes. While it's true that everyone experiences nerves, this minimizes what they're going through. Social anxiety isn't just about feeling a bit nervous before a big event. It's a constant, overwhelming fear that doesn't just go away. There is nothing to be afraid of is another phrase that can be harmful. It suggests that their fears are irrational or not real, which can make them feel even more isolated. Their anxiety is very real to them, and dismissing it only adds to their stress. And finally, don't say you're overthinking it. This implies that their anxiety is all in their head and something that they can control if they just try harder. In reality, social anxiety is often rooted in genetics and brain chemistry, making it far more complex than simple overthinking. So, what should we say instead? Let's turn those statements around into something more supportive. Instead of just relax, try saying, I'm here with you and we can get through this together. This shows that you're there to support them without expecting them to change how they feel immediately. Rather than saying, everyone get nervous, you might say, I know that this is really tough for you and I'm here to help however I can. This validates their experience and shows that you recognize how serious it is. Instead of, there's nothing to be afraid of, consider saying, it's okay to feel the way you do. Let's take it one step at a time. This gives them the space they need to process their feelings without pressure. And instead of, you're overthinking it, say, I'm here for you and it's okay to take your time. This reassures them that their feelings are valid and they don't have to rush through them. When we validate someone's feelings, we help activate their parasympathetic nervous system, which promotes relaxation and calmness. On the other hand, dismissive comments can trigger their sympathetic nervous system, making their anxiety even worse. So, by choosing our words carefully, we're not just offering emotional support. We're also helping to create a physiological environment that can ease their anxiety. Supporting someone with social anxiety isn't about fixing them or having all the answers. It's about being a compassionate presence in their lives. Someone they can trust to understand and not judge them. By being mindful of what we say and how we say it, we can help those around us feel safer, supported, and less alone. And if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with someone who might need it. And as always, let's keep spreading kindness, understanding, and support. So take care, and I'll see you next time.